release my back muscles. So that's an option as well. And we will uh, get started. Uh, have a strap within reach and your blocks, of course. Park it on the blocks cushions. And laying back onto the mat, resting one hand on the upper chest, the other on the belly to have that hand to body, mind, body, physical connection to the breath. Now you're just letting the breath breathe itself and taking a moment just to be with the breath and notice how you're breathing. Or you're feeling the sensations of breath, so you're not controlling or manipulating anything, you're just it's your natural breath that you've come to on the mat. And if you're like most people right now, you're probably very upper chest breath, because as we're moving around for a day, we end up in this upper chest breath because we're doing a lot of different things and we're distracted. So allow yourself now to breathe consciously, to be aware of your breath in a very deep and profound manner. So as you bring conscious awareness to breathing, you're going to intimately connect to every aspect of the breath. And as you do this, each connection will take you deeper and deeper inwards. So inviting the breath to flow in and out of the nose. First, just notice the full sensation to the back of the throat as you breathe in, and the warmth of the exhalation as you breathe out, feeling that at the nostrils. So fullness in and warmth out. And just stay with that awareness as you allow your shoulders to drop down away from the ears and crowding the neck. And you lengthen the neck and head out of the collarbone so the chin tilts slightly down towards the chest. Feel lots of space between the shoulder blades. Support of the bolster underneath the back of the thighs. With every breath out, you're allowing your body, your muscles to release tension, soften, which allows you in turn to sink into the support of the props and the ground beneath you. And to feel that support as a comfort. As you sorry, lost connection there for a moment. As you hold these postures, we're here for anywhere from three minutes to 15 minutes. So you want to be comfortable in the posture so you're not expending energy. As you notice the coolness into the back of the throat and the warmth of the nostrils, of the awareness as the nose is warming and filtering the breath, breathing in nourishing oxygen into the body, breathing out toxins. Reminded of the polarities that exist in life, 
all around us, within us. Night and day, male and female, hot and cold. All that balance, a reminder of the importance of having that balance within ourselves. Because we go so hard every day, day in and day out, so much going on around us, the stresses, this practice, which restores, heals, calms the central nervous system, brings that balance into your being. So as you draw this nourishing oxygen into your body, open to the sensations physically of the movement of your breath. As the belly expands and the rib cage moves outwards in all directions, you feel the muscles between your ribs lengthening through the front, the sides, the back of the rib cage. And as the chest fills with breath all the way up to the collarbone, collarbone itself broadens just a little bit. And you become aware of the expansiveness of a breath in, how it feels to take a full, complete breath in. And it feels wonderful. You know that Nourishing oxygen is flowing through your bright red blood cells, rejuvenating and restoring your organs, engine muscles, fueling yourself with all that you need to do all that you want to do in your days. And with the breath out, there's a downward contracting sensation physically. The rib cage is moving down towards the abdomen as those intercostal muscles are contracting. Your abdominals will engage to draw the belly button towards the back body. And with the final release of your breath, you may sense that deeper inner body sensation as the pelvic floor lifts and moves to the back body. And the breath out becomes a moment of release, of surrendering. as you consciously choose to allow yourself to be here on your mat. And let everything else just melt away into the background home. It is a shifting from the doing mind to one of sensing and feeling and of being in the moment as you sink deeply And you listen, lean into that listening very softly. Responding from a place of self compassion. As we stay in the intention of this practice. Witnessing the rise and fall of your breath. Allow yourself to flow on this wave like rhythm. One breath into the next, effortlessly flowing, continuously flowing. Every breath in and out, varying in length, each breath is strong. Observe and witness that variation in your breath for the next several moments.
And if you trip out, you're opening to slowing down. It's moving away from the noise of a busy life, a busy city. And your eyes soften, sinking deeply into the softness. forehead muscles relax and you feel as though the forehead is lifting away from your eyes. And the space between the eyebrows broadens. And as your cheek muscles relax, all the tension that gathers around the eyes melts away. With your teeth slightly separated, the jaw relaxes. There's no tension anywhere in the muscles of your face. And you relax. You allow the weight of yourself to sink a little more deeply into gravity. Gently let your head move side to side, very slowly. Allow the muscles of the neck to ease the burden of carrying the weight of your head every day. And then come to a comfortable stillness. Drawing the feet in so the knees are bent. And then drawing the knees into the chest, hands to the shins, gently rock side to side, awareness of the space that exists between the legs, and a neck flowing with this movement. Releasing tension and stress in the spine and the pelvis. With hands to the kneecaps, roll the edges of your sacrum, giving its triangular shape, sensing that the muscles of the lower back begin to ease layer by layer of tension melting away. Coming to stillness, just gently point and flex the feet slowly, feeling every transitional movement. Rolling the ankle in both directions. And slowly, mindfully. 
releasing all tension in the feet, the toes. As you release the feet down, move the bolster to your lower right side, your legs. And crossing the left leg over the right, let the legs fall into the support of your bolster. Keeping the shoulder blades as much on the mat as you can. If your left shoulder lifts, you prop it up. Maybe you have a blanket or a towel or something, cushion that you can place underneath it, but feel it supported. And if there's any discomfort through the lower back here, then place either a cushion or a block in between the inner thighs. And that'll alleviate any discomfort. If shoulders allow, extend the arms overhead. To be comfortable. So if that isn't comfortable, just let the arms sink down there. And then place another block or a cushion mid to low back to support you so you're not rolling back to the left side. And if there was much support and comfort as you can. Beginning to breathe a long exhale breath. So your exhalation is at least double the length of your breath in, if not much longer. Be aware of that physical movement of breath. With each breath in, you can choose if you connect to bring feeling energy inwards. If that doesn't resonate with you, it's fine. You don't have to go there. But if it does, bring in that feeling energy from source. Soft, golden, feeling light, going in through the crown of your head and moving through all the nadis, the energy channels of the Trusting that this energy will go exactly where you are in need of it to call its power. Knowing that how we speak to ourselves, what we visualize, is the house in which we live. So let all those ways that you do speak to yourself emanate again from your intention. It's balance. In this twist, flushing out toxins from the digestive system. You visualize that this whole system is bathed in soft, feeling light. And softness, the stomach, the intestines, all the tissue, the organs of digestion, healthy and vibrant. Your cells resilient, perfectly formed and healthy. Bringing healing to inflammation and disease processes, stress and tension. And easing the sensations of our gut, that second brain, where we feel the pains of anxiety. Butterflies, excitement. Feel this area of the gut completely calm, relaxed, no hardness of tension.
soften into both inner thighs. No tension being held in any of your muscles. After the next long exhale breath, breathing deeply. Sign out the breath. Engage the abdominals, breathe out abdominal. Release any support from behind the back. Move on to the back. Good. 
and draw the knees into the chest, slowly, gently. Forehead towards the knees, easing between the space of the legs. And releasing the feet down, come into bridge pose, fingertips sweeping the back of your heels. Inhaling up to bridge. And then rolling the spine down one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the sacrum. Drawing the knees and forehead together. Inhale, exhale, release. So stay with this movement as you cultivate the flow of prana. Visualizing that the chakras are all aligned. They're vibrating and spinning in the directions that they are meant to. Two more breaths like this. And the next time you lift up into bridge, place the bolster horizontally underneath the sacrum. Lower the hips down onto the bolster and lengthen the legs. And you may find this too high. You can remove it at any time. Place it just with a folded blanket or towel underneath you. You want to keep the legs long because we're placing the awareness to the hip flexors and in order to possibly release them, you need the legs long. Adjust the bolster so there's no discomfort through the lower back. That might be sending it down a little further. Letting the breath breathe itself here. Rest your hands to the hip bones. Where, where the hip flexors are, bringing healing energy there, healing any injury or strain, inflammation, and healing energy to the release of emotions that may be held within the hip flexors as they connect to our breath and breathe, sensing our emotions before we're consciously aware of them. We feel the, you know, the tightness of our stress or whatever it is that we're sensing and feeling. That can be held here. So it can be held anywhere in the tissues of our body. And open to that release because of the connection to the breath here. Maybe something that you have unconsciously held on to may arise coming into your awareness that you maybe need to work on to release. So move through the end of this. Soften your eyes. Lips that bend is soft.
Take the next little exhale breath, engage the out of bondage, engage your jaws. Walk the feet in until the knees are bent. Keeping the hips on the bolster, draw the knees into the chest and just let the weight of the legs fall in towards the chest. As the legs relax, they naturally fall wide to the side. Place your hands to the outer side of the legs and support the legs in. Releasing through the back body. And exhaling, release the feet down to the mat. Inhale the hips up and place the bolster to the lower left side of your body. And come back into bridge pose. Inhaling up to bridge, roll the spine down to the sacrum. Drop forehead to knees, knees to forehead. Stay with this movement. With the flow of the prana, the willingness to go where you feel stagnant and blocked. Cultivating the sensation of aliveness, of rejuvenation, restoring. One more breath. Roll the spine down and stay here. Taking the right leg across the left, let the legs fall into the support of the bolster to the left. Popping yourself, whatever way feels comfortable to you. Come back to your long exhale breath here. Drawing healing energy to the digestive system. Stay with the flushing out toxins from the system. Allow yourself to sink into the support of your thoughts. Do not hold intentionally. Feet, legs, glutes, back. Feel the tongue soft and wide and the cold of your mouth.
to the next exhale breath, breathe in deeply, and exhale, engage the abdominals as you release drops from behind you, and roll onto your back, bringing the knees gently in towards the chest, forehead towards the knees, and then releasing the upper body to the mat, make your way into happy day. Rocking or just being still. And exhaling, release the feet down. Roll to your right side and gently pressing away from the ground. Slowly, mindfully, make your way up into a comfortably seated posture for you. Perhaps that's sitting onto your bolster. And if your knees are lifted high, drop them up. Bring the index and middle finger to the third eye between the eyebrows. You can alternate nostril breath to the mind and energy within. Closing the right nostril with the thumb, breathe in through the left side. Close with the fourth finger, breathe out through the right. In through the right, close out to the left, in through the left, close out to the right and continue with this breath. If you are stuffed up at all, visualize the breath moving in this way.
units to the, to the right side. Release the breath thereafter. Letting the breath breathe itself. Keeping your eyes closed. A moment to just scan your physical body, your energetic body, your emotional body, your breath itself. A place of awareness and non judgment. Just getting a reading of where you're at now. And following where you were with each of those bodies when you first. Into your mouth to do this practice. And that awareness, all in all that you were able to release, all that you were open to receiving, and cultivating responsive gratitude, and having given yourself the gift of a healing practice. Letting your central nervous system deeply unplug and relax. Bringing palms together now in a slow prayer position. Let's join me in the chanting of pain three times as we bring this practice to a close. Oh. Oh. And stay away from anything that is of a disturbing nature. Listening to, reading, watching. Keep yourself as much as you can in this state and allow yourself that gift of deep sleep. Namaste. Namaste.